What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, in today's video, I want to talk about uh, selling your retro video games to DKOldies.com. Um, I recently purchased a bulk lot and they had a bunch of stuff that um, I just really didn't need. So uh, I decided to sell a few things. And uh, normally I would use um, eBay or Facebook Marketplace and stuff like that. But lately it's become really difficult to sell retro video games here where I'm at in Louisiana. And uh, eBay, man, um, eBay's fees uh, here now are just ridiculously high. I mean, they're super crazy. I'm, I'm not even sure what percentage they're charging now. Every time I sell something on eBay, it's different. Uh, the last thing I listed on my eBay account, I sold a couple VHS tapes. And after it was all said and done, it came out to like 20% of the, the sale price. And, you know, it's just, it's just too much, man. They're, uh, it's getting to where it's really not profitable um, to sell items on eBay anymore, especially um, lower end items that really don't cost a lot of money to begin with because there's really not enough meat on the bone to pay this type of, of fees that they're charging uh, just regular sellers that that's not you know running stores and paying membership fees and all, all this kind of stuff to get a lower uh a lower final credit through those guys so um i did some looking and i ran across uh dk oldies and um kind of read on how they'll buy retro games from you and all this stuff in the process. And, uh, I decided to check it out. You know, it's, um, I'm kind of skeptical on how it's going to go. So, um, I'm making this first part of the video today. I just shipped uh, my items out to these guys and I'll come back and do the second half. Um, once I get paid and just tell you guys how it all went you know, how long it took and stuff like that. Because the uh, DK Oldies um, isn't a site that I uh, I do business with normally. I don't buy anything from them guys because to me, their prices are a little high. They're a little on the higher end. Um, you could find some decent deals on their site now and then, but for the most part, their, their stuff's uh, kind of expensive. But anyway, I looked into the um, sell your items program that they offer over there. And how it works is you email them a list of what you have and they send you a quote. So uh, I took pictures and made a list of everything that uh, I wanted to part ways with. And they sent me back a quote the next day. It was really fast. And uh, they offered me two hundred and three dollars for the items that was I, I was going to send those guys. And um, honestly, I didn't feel like it was that bad of a quote. It wasn't bad at all for uh, what I was sending because there really wasn't many great items. Um, it was a, a Super Nintendo system that was super yellow. It, it was. You know, it was not visually pleasing at all. Uh, it was a Sega Genesis Model 2 system, which, you know, those things uh, do not go for much uh, in today's market. Uh, a bunch of sports games. Uh, the only really other good things is there was a uh, Nintendo 64 copy of Super Smash Bros. that the label was just tore to crap on this thing. And um, there was a complete copy of Tokyo Extreme Racer 2 for Sega Dreamcast, which is probably uh, the most expensive thing that I saw on that. Now, last time I checked, those went from around 50 to 70 bucks uh, on eBay, depending. So um, anyway, you send them a list, they give you a quote, and uh, they cover shipping, which is nice, too. 
uh, they'll send you a shipment label. You box it up, slap the label on it, and you mail it off to them. And uh, they're supposed to get everything in, take a look at it, and uh, pay you. There's Now, you can get paid two ways to these guys. They'll either cut you a paper check or you could send them your PayPal account information and they'll pay you uh, that way. I chose to go with PayPal um, just because I didn't want to wait for snail mail to get the check in. Now, uh, the bad part about that is PayPal is going to charge you a fee. Um, I'm pretty sure that these guys aren't going to pay you as uh, friends and family. They're going to pay you uh, goods and services. So PayPal is going to take a little bit off of that. You would get more um, if you would, you know, go with the paper check. And, uh, you know, just have to wait longer uh, for that to come in. But I didn't feel like doing that. Anyway, um, I did go on uh, price charting and looked at what all this stuff would um, be worth. It came out to uh, 310 bucks, which is a lot higher than what, you know, DKO just quoted me it's an extra $100. But, you know, in reality, you hardly ever get, um, you know, the exact thing that the, this stuff is listing on, on price charting. It's always going to be a little lower. And then, you know, I figured... I wouldn't be able to sell these items as one bulk lot on eBay. So I would have to make four or five different, you know, lot bundles. And then you would have to pay fees on all those items. You'd have to ship every bundle, you know, and then you'd have to sit there and wait for the stuff to sell. If it sells, you know, some could sell fast. Some could take weeks. So um, at the end of the day, I probably would have made slightly more. Uh, selling on eBay, but you know, after shipping and fees and all, all this crap, it would have been pretty close to what these guys offered me. So, um, we got to check out and see how it goes, man. It's not a, you know, I'm gonna come back once I get paid and, you know, kind of wrap this story up. But if they end up giving me the 200 and you know three bucks that they quoted me uh it wouldn't be that horrible of a deal even though you know these companies like dk oldies and stuff you know aren't exactly companies that i support it might not be a bad deal to sell these guys you know some items and stuff just uh make it easier you know if um if they pay what they're supposed to pay now um when I, I sent my list i also took pictures of everything and included it with the email so uh there should be no surprise when these guys uh open this box you know if they looked at the pictures when they made that quote they're gonna know uh, that the super nintendo was yellow and you know what games had cases what games didn't you know the uh, condition of the artwork on uh cartridges and stuff like that so um anyway i guess that's about it for now um i'll be back to wrap up the end of this video uh, once the money hits my paypal account i'll let you guys know um if they pay me what they said they were gonna pay or if they're gonna try to you know kind of get over on you and uh exactly how long it's gonna take um, their website says, you know, you get paid in like one or two days. I don't know what volume these guys are taking in, but that seems pretty quick. Uh, ex you know, of course, that's excluding uh, shipping time, which there are, there are good ways away from me over here in Louisiana. Uh, today's Wednesday. I believe it's the 13th. So um, I'm sure they're probably not even going to get this package until monday you know because uh fedex will run wednesday thursday friday but i mean they're not going to run saturday and sunday so they'll probably get it monday uh i'm expecting you know payment to drop monday night or tuesday sometime <coughs> anyway i'll uh i'll be back and i'll let you guys know how it goes what's up everyone welcome back uh, to part two of this video 
So uh, I finally got paid today from DK Oldies, and I just want to tell you guys um, about the experience and everything. Um, first off, I shipped the package off on the 13th. Uh, today's the 22nd. So um, <clears throat> they received, I shipped it off on the 13th. They got it on, on uh, this last uh, Monday. So um, their website says one to two days uh, for payment. Well, I didn't hear back from them Monday. I didn't hear anything Tuesday, Wednesday, and come Thursday afternoon at like 3 o'clock, which they close it for. At 3 o'clock, I, I showed them an email saying, hey, um, you know, I, I sent you these games, and uh, it shows it was delivered on Monday. I haven't heard anything. <clears throat> so... Um, I wake up Friday and I get an email back from them going, oh, well, um, did you include your PayPal address and everything in the box? So I emailed them back and I was like, well, yeah, I included not only my PayPal information, but um, a copy of all our emails and everything that we sent back and forth with the quote and everything. And um I included my PayPal address in the email as well. So I sent that off to them. And then um, and a little while later, uh, they sent payments. So apparently what it seems like is they lost or didn't know which package was mine. So <clears throat> anyway, they paid me. They didn't pay me what they were supposed to. So they quoted me $203.00. They paid me 150, and the only reason for um, that I, I received from them for why they shorted me, you know, a fourth of the quote was um, in the PayPal payment in the comments they put all games were scratched. So, which is it, it's fucking bullshit, man. Um. You know, if they would have said, oh, you know, we're taking, you know, five, ten bucks off because this game disc was scratched, I would have been like, okay, you know, that one model. I looked at all this stuff before I sent them to them. I wish I took before pictures of the bottom of the disc, but I didn't. And, I mean, I, I inspected these games. If they would have said one, maybe two discs were scratched, I would have been like, yeah, you know, probably. But to say that all of the games will scratch is fucking bullshit. So, you know, I, I don't know, man. It's not very, I just, it's not, doesn't feel too trustworthy to me, man. I, I'm, I would like to uh, know how many people actually get paid what you're quoted. You know, how many times do these guys actually pay you what they say they're going to pay you after they get your games in the mail? Because um, what I didn't read at first, what I read after the fact on their website is there's a disclaimer all the way at the bottom of the page uh, that says, you know, they don't return items. And basically they can pay you whatever they want to. And they're not going to return your stuff. Um, I didn't see that before I shipped them these items. And I mean, that PayPal comment saying, oh, all of your games were scratched. That was the only uh, thing that I was told. These guys, they didn't email me or anything explaining anything. Um, I didn't get an invoice or anything. To me... You know, a professional company would have sent me an invoice of every item I sent in, and this is how much I paid you for this item, and this is how much I paid you for this item, and this is what it totals out to. Uh, they didn't do that. It feels like they just looked in the box and said, ah, we're going to pay them $150. we are not going to give them 200 for this stuff. You know, and hey, if... You know, some games were scratched. What games were scratched? You know, what items did you subtract money from? You know, because if a copy of 
NBA 2K2 for Dreamcast was scratched, you know, that you was only going to give me two bucks for anyway. How does that equal into sharding me $50 in payment? You know, there's no breakdown. There's no explanation. Um, yeah, I'm just not impressed, man. And uh, I knew I was taking a chance by selling these guys something. You know, uh, their website makes it sound good. It makes it sound great. Oh, ship your stuff in. We're going to pay you in one day, two days max. You know, it's just not the case. That, that wasn't my experience. I shipped the stuff in. I had to email them you know, four days after they received it going, Hey, you know, I'll you the stuff, you know, what's up. And then, you know, they email you back like, Oh, you didn't do something right. That's why it's taking too long, which is crap because everything was printed inside the box, you know, and then miraculously all of a sudden they was able to, uh, you know, decide that, Hey, we're going to charge you 50 bucks and pay you, you know, that's, uh, it's kind of shitty, man. Uh, I, I won't be selling anything else to these guys. You know, um, I'll just keep doing paying eBay fees and, and, you know, waiting on Marketplace to uh, to come up. I guess I'll probably start putting some stuff aside and wait for the, you know, the retro market to pick up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, man, um, don't buy into the hype. Um, they sell you a fairy tale on their website and it's just, that's not what happens. It's going to take you a while to get paid. And apparently they're not going to pay you what they said they was going to pay you. So just be weary, man. And, um, that's my, you know, my experience doing the sell your games to DK Odies for the first time. And uh, like I said, I won't be doing it again. Um, there's other avenues that I could sell my retro stuff at and, uh, you know, come out way better than, um, you know, being shorted a fourth of the agreed upon sale price. I mean, y'all told me you'd give me 200 for it and you paid me 150 You know, and at 200 you was at that point to where, you know, it was an okay deal, because if I sold the stuff was price charted at three hundred bucks, so I was already taking a hundred dollar loss. Now, after you charted me fifty, I'm taking a hundred and fifty dollar loss. You know, I wouldn't have paid one hundred fifty dollars in fees to sell this stuff. I could have made way more money doing it, you know, through eBay or, or marketplace. You know, and um. I checked on their site just at, you know, what they're trying to sell these items that uh, I sent them for. And, um, you know, they're selling Tokyo Extreme Racer 2 for 70 bucks by itself, you know. And there's another game um, I saw, and it was a disc-only game for PlayStation. And, you know, they have that listed. For 40 bucks. So say all this stuff y'all making, y'all have this stuff listed for well over the $200 you even were supposed to pay me. So you're already upselling and making two, three times what you pay for this stuff. But then you're going to short change the seller on top of that. You know, I just, I felt really shitty about that, you know. So, um, Anyway, that's my experience, man. Uh, if you guys want to try to sell some stuff to them, uh, you know, that's up to you. I won't be selling to them anymore. It's just I don't feel like uh, they're an honest company. You know, I just doesn't feel good about it. You know, and I emailed them after, uh, after I saw the payment. I emailed uh, the person I was talking to, and it's like, hey, you know, um, I see y'all sharded me 50 bucks. Y'all saying all the games were scratched. I inspected these games before I sent them to you. I know not all of them were scratched. You know, one or two might have had minor, you know, 
stuff on the back of them, but nothing was super scratch. Everything was playable. Everything was more than in, in acceptable condition. So uh, I emailed him and I was like, hey, you know, what games were messed up? And, you know, uh, what, you, can I get a breakdown of what y'all paid me for each item? And, you know, I'm kind of curious at why, you know, it was $50 off of what you agreed to pay me on, you know? And uh, I, I haven't heard anything back from him, so. And if I do hear something back, I, I'll update this video, but I doubt it. I don't think they're going to message back. Um, after reading their terms, they, it's pretty much they could pay you whatever they want to once they get these items in. They have, uh, they have loopholes and that stuff. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, if you're going to deal with uh, DKODs, um, you know, just be careful. Know, know that when you sell them games, you're probably not going to get what they told you they was going to pay you. And apparently they're not just going to charge you, you know, 10 bucks. They're going to charge you 50 bucks. So just be careful. And then, um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe to the channel. Um, we'll be doing all kinds of different videos. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. Uh, if you had any um, dealings with DKODs, um, feel free to talk about it in the comments. If, you know, you sold some stuff to them and you didn't get paid what you were supposed to be paid. And uh, shit, if you sold some stuff to you and they paid you what they were supposed to, I'd be curious at how many people that actually get paid on what they're agreeing to pay, what they're quoting you. You know, I don't know if maybe I just wasn't my lucky day or something. And I'm, I'm curious to see. Um, I know that they did not um, do good on my transaction. And to just say all of the games were scratched, that was bullshit. All of the games were not scratched. If they would have been like, one game scratched, okay. Two, eh, maybe. All of them, fucking bullcrap. I'm not buying that shit. But unfortunately, after reading their terms, there's really nothing you can do. So just kind of take what they give you and, you know, go on about business. But anyway, thank you guys, and I'll catch you on down the road.